Hey everyone, Diego Marquez here, your friend in sales. I want to share a couple of thoughts with you to help you deal with women more effectively. Women are more manipulative than men, historically, because men usually are more like stronger, like more testosterone oriented, so it's like fight thing. Women learn to use their minds to control people, to get what they wanted. When men went out like to hunt, women stayed at home and they had to protect like the family and all that. So when other people came in, they, they started to develop this, they're more akin to learning like what are people behaving or like the micro expressions, body language and all that. So they became very manipulative. And some things that women are usually looking for is signs of the alpha. And it's understandable because they want the main guy to like to give them the seed for them to like carry the offspring. They want to be with the person that can like provide the best source of, so that they can survive, right? So it's the guy that has like the alpha status, more money, like as better as like uh, aptitude, is like more athlete prone and all that. So they test you out to see if you are the alpha. And you notice something pretty peculiar, especially if you are going to special like like ghettos and violent neighborhoods and you're selling door to door there. Women are much sharper there because obviously like they are more in danger like on a regular basis. So they learn to spot like people's behaviors like faster. And one thing you notice is that because people are more attuned to violence and looking for signs of anxiety and fear and spots of weakness, right? They test you. And women test you out in two different separate segments. It's the same thing they're looking for, but they test you out. It's like, <laughs> it's like the left hook and the right hook, so to speak. They're looking to see the alpha. L remind yourself of this thought, because I think it's the most helpful when you are dealing with women. They are testing you out to see if you are the alpha. They will decide if they'll keep with you or not. And the alpha must show two signs, it's consistency and compliance. I'll give you some examples. If you are the main man, right? If you are the alpha, right? You don't comply to anyone. You, to, you comply to yourself, right? You're the boss, right? So if women are interested in you and they want to test you out, if in fact the figure that you are presenting, if in fact you are the alpha, they are going to test you for compliance. And you see this like often in, in shopping malls and all that. Well, now we don't have any, any of that because like the COVID crap. But when you see people in interactions and you see like women with men, have you noticed like the guy is actually going with the baby carriage or carrying the woman's purse? Ever thought about that? Like what the hell? Doesn't she have like bicep strength or anything like that? It's a shit test. She's running the show. She's the alpha, right? So she will give you a chance of being the alpha, right? But if you fail, she is the alpha. So if a woman tells you, would you carry my purse? You know the answer for that? Like, what, baby? You don't have any muscle strength? She's going to look at you like funny. And she, she won't do that again. If you are consistent every, every single time, she presents things to you that doesn't evoke a change, an exchange. You know what I mean by exchange is, let's imagine like both of you like moving stuff from your house. If she tells you to move the stuff, she's manipulating you. But on the other hand, if she also is like helping you move, like there's an exchange there, right? So you gotta be like looking out for these types of signs because women are bitches, essentially. They're not good people. None of us are good people, actually. <laughs> so, you know, must be fine with that. So when women tell you that, they're testing you for compliance. So you don't comply. You never, ever, 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 ever comply to a woman. Ever. Ever. So if she asks you to carry her purse, you reply, Wow, baby, you've been training all week. You don't have any muscle strength? What's wrong with you? See what I mean? The second one is consistency. And this is the, the, right, the right hook when in regards to testing you out as the alpha. If you say you're going to do something, you better do it. Especially if you tell a woman, it's like, I'm going to be there at 9 o'clock tomorrow. You better be there as well, 9 o'clock. 
And then you get a call from her telling you something like, oh, baby, I can only be there like by 11. Like, go pick me up at 11. See, see what she's doing? Like, she's testing you out for consistency. You just told her, like, you're going to meet her at a place at nine, like, so you can both be there at 9 o'clock. And now at 11 o'clock at night, the day before, like, hours in, like, almost before you go to sleep or something like that, right? Now she's telling you, like, go pick me up later, right? It's like putting a monkey, monkey wrench, like, in the whole plan, like, what she's doing, right? So she's testing you out for consistency. So what you do is you answer her back. If she tests you, like, like you text her back and say, I'll be there tomorrow at 8.30. That's it. No excuses, no anything, like 8.30. So both of your asses can be there at 9 o'clock, right? And you'll notice if you do this, trust me on this, if you do this, the next day she'll look at you funny. She's like, oh, baby, like, she won't address the issue, right? But she's happy because you just display the sign of being the alpha. You showed consistency. And other factors come into play. Let, let's say you're having like, you just told her something like, I'm going to quit my job and start doing something else, right? You just told her you're going to do some, right? So if she tests you out, say, are you sure? Never heard this before. Are you sure in what you are getting yourself into? Some conversation like that and said, I already told you, I'm quitting my job. I got a job somewhere else. That's it. And you notice that actually you keep your promise. You stand by your words and do exactly what you said. And like you do the exchange, whatever the case might be, right? It's just about the thing that you said, right? You need to display consistency. So if you are not sure of something, you better be shut the fuck up. Right? You don't say anything. Because if you tell a woman you're going to do something and if you don't, right, you are showing signs of not being the alpha because you're not being consistent. You need to show consistency. It's like the boss doesn't go like all over the place, like a, like a crazy chicken, like, like calmer, like studies the, the case at hand and then decides, right? That's what you should be doing. Before you inform your troops, let's say you have like 50 people working for you, you're, gonna, you're not going to tell them I'm going to do something, then the next day I'm going to do something else and all that. They're like, dude, what the hell's wrong with this dude? It's like, take your time, like take two days, and then you tell all the troops we're going to go this direction. And they're like, okay, let's go. See what I mean? So this is one I wanted for you to watch out for when you're dealing with a woman. If you are doing some sort of sales presentation or any sort of interaction that involves a woman, Remember, always keep an eye on contact. This is super important because they read you. Women read you five, faster, five times faster than men. This has been medical studies that are improving this. So always like look in that center, like, like in their eyes, like that center, right? And watch out for shit tests that invoke compliance and consistency. So you never comply to a woman and everything that you say must be consistent to your words. I hope you enjoy this tip. Remember to subscribe and click that bell button below so you can get notified every time that I make new videos like this. Peace.